Hey guys, I'm Isha B and this is my video diary, week number six. After being in the bottom two last week, I was very worried about um, being in the bottom two or actually going home this week. Thank God I've made it through to week six and I'm still here, still in the running to maybe winning the competition. I'm going to miss Johnny so much. The main thing I'm going to miss Johnny for is his energy. One thing that I really love about Johnny is the way he talks and the, the way he's just so fast with his jokes. Say you say something to him, Gary's one. You know how Gary always says these funny lines to him. And <laughs> Johnny goes, you can rub my lamp anytime. <laughs> and he always says, I'm being serious, seriously. Oh, I love Johnny. Now for the risk, um, I love them so much, so much. For me, that was the biggest shock of the whole X Factor series, even the series that I watched beforehand. Um, Ashford just came and now he's got to go again. But I know I, I, they'll be fine. They will be fine. I know they will. This Saturday, I'm very excited. Um, you're going to see Misha B stripped back, but Misha B being Misha B. I'm letting you in, in a bit. Now I'm going to answer some questions from Twitter and Facebook. Hey Lorraine, your question was, who would I like to sing with in the house? Well, I get around singing with all of them, like when we're all singing, but somebody that I'd like to perform with is definitely has to be Marcus. Marcus's energy is all the way up there, and you know, just to be on stage and bouncing with that type of energy, and he's constantly, everything's just fun about Marcus. Um, yeah, Marcus got it. Hey Lara. Your question was, what is the most important thing that I've learned from my X-Factor journey? Well, I can't exactly say one thing. I can give you quite a few things. One of the main things that I've learned on this journey has to be life is what you make it. And to elaborate on that, basically meaning, you know, regardless of what ha is happening around you, regardless of what people are saying and doing, what happens from this point on is completely down to you. And I was at a point in the competition where I was in a place emotionally that I've never been at before. And I had to pick myself back up. And if it wasn't for the people, the great people in the competition, like the people that work behind the scenes, work for Team Kelly and Kelly, and my family and friends and their support and Team Alien, I wouldn't be smiling. One, one of the other things that I really, really, really want you to take with you is don't stop believing. Don't you ever stop believing because, you know, it's all good when everybody else stops believing. But when you stop believing, it's over. It's over. Because when I first started singing and I, my dream of becoming a successful singer and a performer and stuff, I didn't feel like anybody believed in me. I believed in myself and that's what got me here. Forget what they say. They might say you can't do it because I had a lot of that. You're never going to become anything and you know, you're not even good at this. You're not even, but as long as you believe, as long as you keep perfecting your craft and work hard day in, day out and focus, 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 you're going to become what you want to become. Hey guys, I'm Misha B and that was my video diary week number six. Don't stop believing and don't stop them questions from rolling in. Love you.